So today I am doing a video that I have seen another YouTuber do before. Uh, I'm going to be trying every coffee shop in London. I did see Emma Chamberlain do trying every coffee shop in LA a while ago. Just made back with copying other people's videos. Like, I've come to the realisation, like, on the way down here on the lift, that I don't have a creative bone in my body. Like, everything I do is fucking copying someone else. Like, everything I wear is just because I've seen someone else wear it. I just don't have, like, a unique thought in my brain. Why am I having a midlife crisis? I'm going to be trying every coffee shop in London. Full credit to Temper Chamberlain for this video idea. I feel like I haven't really tried that much coffee in London. I, I don't really get coffee out that often because I just love my coffee from my coffee machine at home. The only time I really get coffee is like if I'm out and desperate and I get a Starbucks or something. I haven't really tried many other places. So I thought today we could just kind of drive around London and stop at coffee shops that we see. Probably will have several heart attacks because driving around London is genuinely the most stressful thing of my entire life. Also, who likes my new jumper? It arrived today. Got it on Depop. Love it. I don't usually wear red. I also don't usually wear my hair up either. I just don't really have the hairline for it, to be honest. Like, what the fuck is that? It's like a little heart, though. It's quite cute. Before we go on to our first coffee shop, I have something really exciting to say. This video is sponsored by Key Australia. I love Key Australia sunglasses, and I was so excited because they came to me, and they were like, we would love you to do an edit with us. Oh! exciting basically for the past while i've been working with them and we've like come up with this new edit with some of their like best sellers and some of their new styles that i love i'm literally so excited about this because i have been wearing key for years so in this video i will show you some of the sunglasses that i have included in this edit it's called the uk shade school it's also perfect because it's in time for summer as well it's actually 20 degrees today so i genuinely will need sunglasses on but yeah thank you so much to key for working with me love you literally so bad i remember i think it must have been a youtuber that banged on about key sunglasses when i was like literally 12 and i would beg my mom to get me them because i used to sell them in top shop do you remember and i would beg my mom to get me them and she's like no they're 40 quid <laughs> it's like fuck's sake so i'd have to save up and buy them myself but yeah the fact that i'm working with them now is crazy full circle moment <laughs> Dunkin Donuts so I have been here once before I can't really remember what the coffee tastes like to be honest there is only sorry about that as I was saying there is only like one in London I'm pretty sure there's only one in London so don't hold me to it and it's like half an hour drive from me so I very rarely go but I thought I'd go for this occasion it was only £1.50 for an iced latte £1.50 what i'm pretty sure my order at starbucks usually comes to like 4.50 this is three quid cheaper also my order is an iced almond milk latte sometimes i do get sugar-free caramel but i feel like you can't taste the coffee as much and i want to taste the coffee so i can decide which is the nicest coffee in london so yeah this is just an iced almond milk latte okay i did see them use the barista almond milk from alpro so i can definitely taste that it's very like creamy and almondy it is delicious it's not too milky either like sometimes i find when you get a latte from places like it's literally just milk and you can't really taste the coffee but you can really taste the coffee in this oh my god also there was such a big queue for it and i don't know why but what well, it says it's like 18 degrees today so i was like right i'm putting on shorts so i'm literally wearing little white denim shorts and i was freezing also i ran out of my pill the other day i didn't realize i was on my last trip and it takes me a while to get my pill because obviously my gp is in belfast so i could come on my period any second now and i'm wearing white denim shorts okay before we head on i'm going to show you a pair of sunglasses from my key edit i'm going to show you a pair of sunglasses per coffee shop these are the first ones i love these i love a big sunglass this is very much like don't talk to me kind of sunglasses and they're such good quality as well you know when sometimes you put on sunglasses and you can't really see that well <laughs> like if you get shitty ones you know what i mean but these are really good quality love them these ones are called new so they kind of like cat eye but yeah okay right let's go to our second coffee shop by the way i'm not gonna like finish each coffee because i I would genuinely have diarrhea all over my car. So I'm just going to take a few sips and then bring the rest home and me and Flossie can just devour it over the next few days. I just parked outside this place called Gales and went in and got myself a wee iced coffee. So Gales is like a chain. I'm not sure if it's just in London, but like it's everywhere in London. And I've actually never tried it before, but my friend recommended me it. So I was like, right, fuck it, I'll give her a go. It's like a bakery thing, but they also do coffee. I'm not gonna lie, I went in and I'm a bit hungry because it is lunchtime. And I was like, oh, are any of the pastries vegan? And they laughed in my face. Is that such a weird question? Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I kind of shit myself after that and grabbed the coffee and ran. They didn't have any almond milk, so I had to get oat milk, which is a bit upsetting. I don't mind oat milk, but it's just like, I don't don't want porridge coffee so that one was 335 i mean i think that's kind of average for an iced latte it is really really small compared to the duncan one and the duncan one was half the price but let's see how it tastes that is really really delicious wow we 
This could be my new regular place. I don't think there's one near me, but I will travel for this place. This is delicious. Oh my God, this is winning so far by a mile. It's so creamy. <gasps> Maybe it's because I got oat milk. Maybe I should start giving oat milk a bit of a try, but oh my God, this is fucking amazing. If you're ever in London, go to Gales and get an iced oat milk latte. It is so good. It is a bit pricey, but absolutely worth the money okay so second coffee shop means second pair of sunglasses which ones should we go for i think these ones are fun these are very like summer vibes they're kind of like gold on the side as well so for gold jewelry it's perfect for that it matches them i love it so cute oh this style is called farah okay on our next coffee shop i actually don't know where to go because i don't want to do like the standard like cafe nero like costa starbucks and stuff because everyone knows exactly what that tastes like so i'm trying to go for like kind of more niche ones is that a word niche i don't know maybe like pret i don't know to me pret and manger is so exotic because we don't have it in ireland so when i came to london and it was like on every street i was like what the fuck this is amazing i don't think i've ever actually tried the coffee from it maybe i should just try pret but i feel like everyone knows what pret tastes like but i don't so i'm gonna try it i only ever go to pret from getting like a chai latte or they do really good turmeric lattes and stuff i've so i've never tried the coffee so this this could be interesting there's literally a pret like two minute walk for me so let's go on a little walk Oh my god, that was a little bit traumatic. I was literally nearly like taken away with the wind. Okay, so anyway, we got a coffee from Pret. They again didn't have almond milk. What's going on? So we had to get oat milk, but let's give her a go. Gales definitely beats Pret a Manger, but Pret a Manger beats Duncan. Duncan did not really do it for me now I look back on it. This isn't as creamy as Gales, however, it was a pound cheaper. So I went into Pret there and tried to get my favourite wrap. It's the hummus and chipotle wrap. That's actually my new hangover food is hummus and chipotle wrap and their strawberry and banana smoothie delicious and it like actually is quite nutritious as well but yeah it's so good and they completely ran out so now i'm a bit hangry like i'm just i don't know what to do okay the next pair of glasses are so cool these are like my driving ones i think these are like the most bad bitch glasses in the range they're huge i'm literally obsessed with them imagine these with like an all black outfit and like a sleek high ponytail this is what i'm envisioning for these sunglasses i actually love them i literally feel like a celebrity with them on anyway we're going to our next place now i kind of want to do a bit of a carbo karaoke a playlist that i've been really listening to recently is not actually my own it's a playlist called tiktok songs that are actually good and they update it all the time with all the like newest tiktok songs it's amazing so i'm gonna listen to that on the way to our next coffee shop you got my heart and my mind flashing lights i'm bringing sexy back i'm parked by the way no the only do any more carbo karaoke i'm also sweating my camera's gonna die very soon and we have a lot more coffee to try so no more, car no more carbo karaoke i'm sorry <laughs> just went to this place called elan it's like this coffee shop that's kind of, i think it's a chain around london it's like really pretty and pink and it's got floor walls on it do you know that kind of vibe however i've just brought it back to my car and it looks really disgusting like why why is it all like that okay i've mixed it now and it's gone a bit nicer but mmm it's very very sweet i think it was the most expensive yet it was 4.50 for a regular ice latte um so it was very expensive but it's nice it's definitely better than prep but i don't think it's better than gales yet no worries beat gales yet also they didn't have anything for me to eat for lunch i just want a wrap i love wraps so much wraps are so much better than sandwiches in my opinion i wouldn't eat a, like a, a meal deal sandwich that kind of scares me like the bread is it not all soggy and gross okay now time for our next pair of sunglasses now, these ones are quite similar to the last pair i was wearing except they're just a bit larger so if you want like to kind of hide your face sometimes i use sunglasses to, like hide my face if i don't want if i look shit basically so these are much bigger but they've still got that like gold frame oh love them so cute but yeah this style is called jezebel that's fun it's fun to say jezebel i might go home now and deliver the last two coffees because i'm starving and i'm clearly not finding any food out there is some spicy tomato pasta at home with my name on it i'm only doing six coffee shops because i'm not actually doing all the coffee shops in london okay that was clerk bit okay you've been pranked but yeah let's go home and let's order some more coffee and food because i'm starving i feel like coffee makes me really really hungry i've seen people say like if they get filled up from coffee but i'm like that's not me that, that's not me I, like whisk man that's not me i'm literally glistening So I'm home now. I did just have some pan and pasta. I hope I don't have any. Oh, there's my foot. I hope I don't have any around the corners of my mouth because I have publicly said before that is an ick of mine. So it would be quite hypocritical if I had some tomato sauce around my mouth. So just ignore it if I do. I was looking on Uber Eats at like cafes and most of them kind of shut now because I feel like cafes only really open in the morning and it is like half four. And then I was like, you know what? It'd actually be good to get a Starbucks so I can compare the coffee that I've had today to like the one that usually everyone kind of goes for. Like Starbucks is probably the most popular. So by comparing, then I can let you know if you need to start switching up your usual Starbucks. 
products. So I got my usual iced almond milk latte with the blonde roast. It's my favorite. I prefer it to like the normal, is it nut blend roast? Uh, and then I also got an iced caramel macchiato. I saw it on the menu and I never really go for something like this. And I just thought it'd be quite fun, something different. Obviously without the caramel drizzle because caramel drizzle has milk in it. So first up, let's try this iced blonde latte. There's Kobe, say hey. Oh my God, I saw this TikTok the other day. It was a golden sausage dog. It was like literally a mix between, well, it looks like a mix between a golden retriever and a sausage dog. It's obviously not a mix. I mean, how could they breed that? But it's just like a golden long haired sausage dog. And I was like, I need it in my life. And like, I've got a house and a garden. Like what's stopping me? Imagine me with a, cause it's like, I would love a golden retriever, but it's just in theory, I am only 19. And like, I don't know if I could give the golden retriever the life it needs right now. It would definitely need loads and loads of walks. Whereas if I had a sausage dog, I could just bring it around with me all day. I don't know, I really, really want one. Will I be annoyed when that's another question? And then I posted a TikTok about it. And everyone was like, no, you need to adopt. And like, I do agree with adopting. Like I adopted George. Obviously I adopted George, who would breed that dog. It is a really ugly dog. Love him though, what an angel. Um, I just don't know if I'm in the position to adopt right now and I don't know if they would let me adopt. Like adopting can be quite hard, the process. So I've been like looking at breeder because I've really been doing my research into this. I mean, I can't get it for another like three months. So I don't think I move until another two months, but I have been looking into some breeders, some reputable breeders of sausage dogs. Just on the off chance, okay? Just on the off chance. Right, okay, anyway, ice blonde latte. Okay, it's nice. Oh, also, I need to put on a new pair of sunglasses. I love these ones. These are Flex, and they're just like, they're really like cat eye, and I like to wear them down in the bottom of my nose, and wow, I look like I, I belong in the streets of Paris, do you know what I mean? Right, I'm gonna rank all the lattes before I try my macchiato, because obviously it's not a latte. So I'm gonna go, number one, Gales. It was so good. It was so creamy and nice, and it was just perfect. They just, they absolutely nailed it. A wee bit expensive, but really nice. Second, we have Starbucks, I think. I mean, you just you can't go wrong with Starbucks, can you? Third, we're gonna go Pret. Fourth, Duncan, and five, Elan. Sorry, can I just run and get the Elan coffee to show you what a fucking nightmare this is? It makes me feel sick to look at. Like, what the fuck is this? What is that? Ugh, I paid four point fifty for this. It was, I think it was the most expensive one. And look at it. God, I will never go back to that place in my life. I mean, it was pretty inside, but ugh. That was successful. I'm, I'm so glad I found a nice new coffee shop. Uh, I will definitely be going to Gales more often. Now it's time to try our final drink. This is an iced caramel macchiato. I was just kind of in the mood for something sweet. Like I had my tomato pasta, I was like, I want dessert. I don't think I've ever tried a macchiato before. I, don't, I literally don't even know what it is. Very coffee, but also sweet. Like, you know, sometimes if you get like a iced caramel latte, it's like literally just like sweet milk. This is nice. It's very nice. So, <laughs> why did I say it like that? And then our final pair of sunglasses from my key edit are these really fun ones. They're called Nusa Bevel. These are really fun. These are a bit more like funky ones. I wore them with like this really colorful outfit. I put in like a photo here just because I feel like they're, they're quite funky. Do you know what I mean? something different they're also really big so they hide your face as well i guess that's the end of the video i've had a fantastic time i will be shitting my insides out tonight thank you so much to key for sponsoring this video and i'm really excited to announce my edit with them if anyone wants to go have a look on their website you will see me in the sunglasses exciting time i'm gonna enjoy this caramel macchiato and await the terrors that my tummy is gonna go through tonight Woo! cheers to that okay let me know if i should get a sausage dog okay bye